Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Hi there. You are watching How to Pastel with me, Gail Sibley, the place to learn about tips and techniques and anything to do with the world of pastels. Now, if you are a beginner, and I mean, I mean, I'm talking right at the start of using soft pastels, you don't even have any to begin with, and you want to know which ones should you buy, then this Q&A is for you because I'm going to show you the ones that I suggest that you get. Now, the, our question today comes from Josie and she writes, Dear Gail, I'm an acrylic painter. Recently, I walked into a gallery that was showing an exhibition of soft pastels. Seeing all the various ways artists use the pastels, I knew I wanted to try this medium. Yay! I began researching and came across your great blog and videos. I also came across a lot of other information, but I still don't know which pastels to buy. There are certainly a lot of opinions online and now I'm totally confused. I'm hoping that you can suggest one or two options and only one or two. Also, I'm on a budget, so I really don't want to buy the wrong pastels. I sure hope you can help me, Josie. Great question, Josie. Thank you. I have to say this is a question I get a lot. So this is a super opportunity for me to answer it. First off, um, first off, there are so many beautiful, fabulous pastels that are available to us these days. We are so lucky. Um, but that, of course, just adds to the confusion. Um, the first thing I would suggest is, do you have any artist friends who use pastels? Or is there an art group around that you could go to and find out if anybody is using pastels? Because that would be a really great way to test the waters. Borrow a couple or, you know, just ask for little their little crumbs, their little cast offs, the colors they don't like. Just to use, to get your hand used to just playing with them. They are dusty, but they're incredibly wonderful pieces of pigment, you know, that we, from pigment, we, we create these paintings that are full of, of light. I mean, how do we do that with these gorgeous pastels? So that's the first thing I would suggest. The second thing is I want to show you a couple of uh, starter sets that I think are a really great place to start. The other thing is you could, you could choose to go the individual stick route. Like if you have those available to you, certainly you can do that. But you then you still have to make those choices and it can be confusing. Which colors do you get? Which value? Am I getting the right? How many? So just to keep it simple, I'm thinking starter set. You can get a starter set and you can then build on it. So let me show you the two that I think are really great starter sets and, and then one more set. I know you said one or two, but I'm going to give you three. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. So I have two half stick sets to show you. The first one is by Unison. It is a 16 piece half stick set. They also make an 18 piece full stick set, which is also great. But this is a super way to start. Look at the size of this box. I mean, it's so tiny. It's so light. It's a great way you can travel with this really easily. And here are, and you know, they package them with this foam. So they are great for traveling. And so here, this is the charcoal I just put in. When I'm traveling, I can sketch, sketch things up with that. So here are the, here's the set. Here are the colors. Uh, good value selection from really dark to light. Some reds, blues, greens. You know, it's not perfect, but it's a super way to start and try out the pastels. Um, so that's the first set I wanted to show you. And then the next set is the Sennelier half stick set of 40. So 40 as opposed to 16, so a lot more colors. This is the one I take on, I sometimes take, I just grab it and take it uh, on location when I'm painting. So it's a bit of a, <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. Um, you can see the, some of the pastels that I've used and this one is a replacement for the pastels. It's a full stick that's been broken in half and that is another really great way of going is you could buy individual sticks with and go in with a friend and each of you, uh, you know, break them and each of you take a half. But again, like we said, that's more decision making, more frustration, more confusion. This way you just go in, 
you buy the set, you take it home and you try it. Now with both of these sets, you are not going to go wrong. When you say, I don't want to, you know, I'm on a budget and I don't want to get the wrong pastels. I mean, they're both fabulous brands and these sets are great and it's a super way to start because then you can add the colors that are missing, the values that are missing, you know, um, there might be some olive greens you want or there might be some purple, deeper purple, I don't know. You, you just start with somewhere, whoops, start somewhere and then grow from there. So those are the two half stick sets. Now the other set that I really, really like but I know are not available everywhere are Mount Vision pastels. This is the workshop set of 50, so they're quite a lot. They're full sticks, so you're getting a lot of pastel for the money. Um, and they are soft as well. Fabulous color selection. You know, if you don't want to go this much, they also sell 25 piece sets. So each of these boxes holds 25 and they have all sorts of variations for sale. Um, as well. So I think the Mount Vision is a really great way to go. But Unison and Sennelier are ones that are really available pretty much worldwide, I would think. Now there are some other fabulous brands, uh, ones that I adore, like Schminky and Great American and Terry Ludwig. But they tend to be on the really super soft side and I think if you are just starting out in pastels you want a soft pastel but not the super super soft pastel because that can fill up the paper so quickly. There are also pastels that are harder than this. Uh, this is but this is sort of where I recommend my students start. So this is why I'm showing you these sets. Yeah so I hope those suggestions helped Josie. And now I would like to hear from you. Are you at the start and did that video help you? I'd love to know. Also, if you've been using pastels, what were the first pastels that you used and would you choose differently today? Now, as you know, the deeper conversations go on over at howtopastel.com. So head on over and leave a comment under the blog. And while you're there, why not subscribe? Because then you're gonna get great content from myself and also from guest bloggers. You'll also get news and updates and things that I don't share anywhere else. So in the meantime, keep painting and let your heart and soul sing. You have a unique vision, so paint it and share it with the world. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. There are lots, there are a lot, first of all, we're used to be to do something. Eh. You, I can't, I can't get this, oh jeez. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused myself. I'm getting confused.